Pega platform provides two methods for creating new versions of an application. The two methods for application versioning are lock and roll and skimming. For every new release cycle, we need to create a new application version, new rule set version. And for that purpose, we use these two methods. We use application versioning to differentiate current from past application configurations. To version an application, we must version the rule set for that application. During rule resolution, Pega platform looks through the rules of all minor and patch versions for the current major rule set. We need to use lock and roll for incremental patch versions, whereas we use skimming for minor and major versions. If you have small changes or patch updates, you will generally use lock and roll. So for example, for each sprint, you do some work, you do some merging and you, you do deploy that code into the higher environments. In that case, you will use lock and roll because you only increment the patch version. For each sprint deployment, you will not increase major version. You will not increase minor version. Application patches and some minor updates, bug fixes, enhancements, user stories, those all will come under the patch fixes or patch rule set version. Using the lock and roll wizard in Pega, you can create a new empty rule set version and then update the configuration, copying only the appropriate rules into the new rule set version. That is, say for example, consider 010101 has rules A, B, and C, but only rule B is changed. Then you will move only the changed rule B into 010102, not all the ABC rules. For rule A and C, there is no change. Only for rule B, there is a change. So only the changed rule, you will put in 010102 version. That is called as lock and roll. In your real life, in your real development, you will ideally never use lock and roll itself. Why? Because you will be using branch-based development. The entire team will be developing in branches. As the development is done in branches, after the code review is complete, after the development is complete, after the unit testing is complete, then you will merge it into a next rule set version available. So lock and roll will not even be applicable in real life because we all do branch based development. If you are not doing branch based development, then you have to use lock and roll wizard and lock and roll mechanism to push your new code changes for those rules into the higher rule set, higher patch rule set version. Coming to skimming. Skimming is the process of saving the most recent version of a rule as a new version of a rule set. Skimming applies mainly to the resolved rules and improves the performance of replication because it filters out the rules that are unavailable, that are not being used, that are obsolete, that are not required. So we can say that skimming simplifies rule resolution and minimizes rule data. That is minimize the number of rules being used. So it keeps only the rules being used and the redundant rules or the rules which are not, not at all being used will be skipped. Major skims can be done to increment the major version or minor skims can also be done to increment the minor version. So ideally in your release cycle, when skimming will be done? So skimming will not be done in every sprint. It will be done in every release. Minor skimming will be done in every minor release. So for example, the Pega platform team does minor skimming whenever they release 8.6, 8.7, 8.8 because the minor version is increasing. They do minor skimming. Say if tomorrow Pega 9 comes, then, do, then they do major skimming. That is they have to skim to the major rule set from 8 to 9. Say for example, when Pega 8 is launched from Pega 7, then they did a ma last major skim was done at that time to increment the major version. Skimming and lock and roll, there is a difference. 
So this is skimming saves only the most recent version of rules into the 010201 version. If rule A exists in 01001 and a modified version of rule A exists in 01002, the system copies the 01002 version to the 01201 version only. So the difference is, first difference is lock-in rule is used only for patch versions. Skimming is used to increment the major versions and minor versions. Respectively, you use major skimming and minor skimming. So if you see the text in blue here, here what he is telling is, if rule A is existing, in 010101 and the modified rule A is existing in 010102. That is nothing but using lock and roll mechanism only this can happen, this line. Or rule A is already present in 010101, then you check out to the branch, make changes in the branch, check in the rule to the branch, get it code reviewed and then it will be merged to 010102 rule set version. Now, when you perform a minor skim on this, the system copies the 010102 from this to the next minor skim. So here the minor version is 01. Next minor, higher minor version should be 02. So if you see, it will be merged into 010201. When you do a skimming, some of the rules might not be carried forward to your next major version or minor version depending on this table so if the rule is available right definitely you have to carry forward so yes if the rule itself is not available then there is no meaning in carry forward to the next higher rule set version so it is dropped off for not available rules in major scheme and minor scheme it is dropped off coming to final rule final means is just a method status just like in java it, that rule cannot be overridden just like final method in Java means that method cannot be overridden in, in the implementation layer. Likewise, final rule in Pega, it cannot be overridden in another class or another rule set or in the same rule set as well. Sorry, in same result, it, it, it is treated as the same. In another class or another rule set, you cannot override. So, uh, the, so still it should be carried out. Coming to withdrawn. For major scheme, withdrawn rules are removed because anyway, that rule itself is not, withdrawn means it should not be picked. That rule and also the, uh, the rule with the same name in all its lower rule set versions will not be picked from that class. So there is no meaning in carry forwarding that rule itself. For minor, still it should be carry forward. Because rule resolution is applicable for patch and minor versions, not for major versions. Coming to blocked. Blocked rules should be carried forward because a blocked rule can block rules in other rule sets as well. So to, it is important to maintain these blocking relationships. The key to skimming is to start at a major version and skim all the minor and patch numbers into a new version or you can start at a minor version in increment from there. So just like we have a lock-in role wizard, we also have a skimming wizard. Now let's see the practical. In coming video.